Hey guys, today I will tell you about external hordulum, which is also known as STI. It is acute suppurative inflammation of lash follicle and its associated glands of Z's or MOL. These glands are present at the lid margin. So coming next is the picture of the external hordulum. As you can see, the eyelid is inflamed and we can see the pus point here. Now coming to the etiology, the most common organism causing STI is Staphylococcus aureus and following are the predisposing factors. Firstly, age. It more commonly occurs in children and young adults, although age is no bar. And it, it is also common in adults having eye strain due to muscle imbalance or any of the refractive errors. Now, it is also common in people who have habitual rubbing of eyes or fingering of the lids as the infection is transferred to the eyes. And uh, the common debilitating conditions like diabetes or any chronic disease. So now coming to the clinical features, the clinical features are divided into two. We will first discuss symptoms and then we will come to the sign. So symptoms are pain, swelling of the lid, there may be mild watering and photophobia. Photophobia is eye discomfort in bright light. Now coming to the signs, For signs we divide in two stages. Firstly, the stage of cellulitis and then stage of abscess formation. So first stage of cellulitis, there is localized, firm, red, tender swelling at the lid margin and it's and in stage of abscess a visible pus point can be seen in at the lid margin now coming to the treatment firstly hot compresses two to three times a day are very useful especially in cellulitis stage then evacuation of pus is done and it should be done by appellating the involved cilia and it is done when the pus point is formed now thirdly surgical incision is also done but it is it is only done if that sty is very large in size then antibiotic eye drops and antibiotic eye ointment at the night is given and then systemic anti-inflammatory and analgesics are given for edema and pain and systemic antibiotics are also given to control the infection at the early stage so this is the treatment for acute sty now if there is recurrence of styes then we have to find the cause of that recurrence or any predisposing factors and we have to treat that predisposing factor also like if there is refractive error correction of that refractive error is done or diabetes or any other chronic disease is there then we have to identify that and treatment according to is given so this is all about the external hordulum i hope this video gave you some idea about sty and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you